Hi, it's me again with Corel Raw Tips and Tricks. And somebody messaged me this photograph on my Facebook page and asked how you could do it. I've kind of done it really quickly. It's not exactly, it's hard, it's hard to tell, maybe they'd be able to tell. It almost looks like the blue, but the, it's a picture, so it's fuzzy. I don't know if the blue's got some shallowing to it or, and I didn't play around with it too much. I'm just gonna give them some ideas. And I've got it pretty good. Uh, the other one looks a lot better. Um, but first try, I'm not too ashamed of it. How I did it. Let's just take this one out of the way. And I'm going to make a black rectangle and put it on my page and turn it black and go ahead and make, go to object and order and back a page. So anything I put on top of that will show through. Now I'm taking the ellipse. I'm going to make it white. And I'm going to make it something other than a hairline. Let's take that thick. Said OK. Now we have a white ellipse. Let's go ahead and hit P. Put in the center page, which really doesn't ever matter on, in this case, but I, I like doing it. Control D and make a duplicate, and then move that duplicate duplicate up up into here. Now we can go ahead and delete that part of the circle, and just have that outcropping type deal. Now, if you color this blue, the whole thing's going to go blue. So we just want this half shape in blue. Let me just go and delete that. And show you what I did. So I'm going to use the Smart Fill tool, but I need to make a color. So I'm going to take a box. I'm going to take my color eyedropper. I'm going to grab that color. I'm going to fill it in there. Then I can take the Smart Fill tool, go up here to my sample, and I probably could have just sampled that. Now that I think about it, I could have just sampled that. Um, go to the eyedropper tool and just sample that and then fill that in. So now you have that kind of a shade of the same color. Now this drawing is really kind of flat across here. It almost looks like this is a piece of plastic that's been folded over. So we need to take a two-point line and just kind of go from that node to that node. And now let's see if we can't delete that part of the line, and we did. We're going to go ahead and use that line for a second, but we're going to take the Smart Fill tool and grab the eyedropper again and get a sample from this orange, probably the brightest part of the orange, and fill it in. Now, I think what would work the best on this would be the transparency tool. And also, we need to probably put that line. We might want to do this later, but if we go to object, order, front of page is that line, and that line's too thick. So let's thin that line down. See how that looks, that looks better. And at this time you go ahead and fix these two lines, but that's not what the video's about. And to fix that line, you, that's actually an ellipse. So you'd have to convert that ellipse into a curve. Well, it's already a curve. Maybe it's part of that other, I'm not gonna worry about it. Then get the transparency tool and just start about right there, go there. I must have not have clicked on or you need your, there we go. I had a line there. We could put, you know what, let's do that. Let's go here, go to object and break the curve apart. And then, then the other, the other part of the line will be broken. So we can nudge this out of the way for a second and grab that other part of the line. Well, now it's not giving us any problems, so we're good. So let's find where that, let's just back up here to where it brought it back to there. Anyway, there's our line right there. See if we can't. Nudge it back. Now, now let's take the transparency tool. And I think the transparency tool will work the best on this. And then evidently I'm not on that orange. 
Tell you what, I'm gonna nudge that white out of the way. Let me see if I have to pick the orange, use the transparency and go up and make sure you're perpendicular. And you could play around with this and slide it. It's kind of hard to tell in that other picture, you know, what is what. Uh, you know, if you go here, you're gonna get lighter. If you go here, didn't mean to do that. If you grab it here, you're going darker. And that looks pretty close. But now what we need to do is nudge it out of the way. And the, the reason I'm having problem is my nudge is set on so high. Then I can grab that bar and then I can nudge this back. And it's pretty close. I would have, you, you would have to get these uh, lines together. And you could do this by, well, making it actually thicker. And make this line the same thickness and then try to join these two curves. You could do this manually. That looks pretty good. But anyway, I think it looks quite a bit like the drawing. I don't know if the blue's supposed to be a fuzzy, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to tell by the drawing. Is the blue got some transparency too to it? Theirs looks a little bit better. Maybe this part's a little bit higher. Uh, it's just hard to tell. It's hard to tell because it just blends into the black. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.